boy, I'm John Kazarek. We're just about set to go with the pregame show, and before I come back with a look at the AG Colonial, I do want to remind you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage is always brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rock Coble, and Tom Frankhauser, Charter Communications under the direction of Regional Manager Craig Tomchek, and CU TV and our main man there, Mr. J.R. Wheeler. I'm John Kazarek with Jerry Dupay and Jody McCoy. We step out for a minute, we'll step right back with a look at AG. Tonight, 2-8 and eight last year. They're 0-8 on the season right now, uh, coached by Bob Visk, his third year with the program after a 12-year uh, assistantship uh, term with the Mount Lebanon uh, Blue Devils. And his ball club tonight will line up this way. They're big and strong along the line and a very good running attack. Also able to score points. Their problem has been stopping people this year. Ken Perkins, number 54, 6'3", 270, senior. He's the center. The guards, Justin Grimes, number 50. 6'4", 250, a senior, and Art Craig, 6'2", 240, a senior, number 65. Dick Rue, 69, at 6'5", 305, a senior, is the right tackle, Sean Gaster, another 300-pounder. He's number 75, 6'3", and he's a senior. Your starting uh, split end is Rich Pegg, number 81, a 175-pound senior, and Aaron Troutman, number 88, will alternate out there at 6'2", 165, also a senior. Your starting tight end, Brent Troyan, number 85, Six foot 190, a senior, Andy Patrick, a 200 pound junior, will also see action. And Justin Grimes, he'll wear number 90. Grimes introduced as a starting left guard, also will occasionally go to the tight end position, and he'll wear number 90 out there. Starting flanker, Timmy Guthrie, number 12, 5'11, 190, a senior, and Justin Higman, number 84, he's 6'1, 170, just a sophomore. Your quarterback tonight, Clifford C.J. Callahan, and I understand he likes to go by the moniker C.J., so C.J. it will be. C.J. Callahan, number seven, six foot 180, he's a junior. Your starting fullback, very good one here. Jared Plisco, he's number nine, six foot 200 pound senior, backed up by Ivel Martin, number 45, a six one 180 pound junior. Maurice Jackson, who uh, coming into tonight's game has rushed for 1,020 yards, 18th in the WPI, only scored 12 touchdowns this year. Maurice Jackson, a sophomore, number 24, 5'9", 175 is your tailback, backed up by another quality kid, Archie West, number 27, 6'185", he's a senior. We'll be back, take a quick look at the Mustangs. We want to wrap it up quickly here tonight because it is senior band night, and we do want to film that for you. So LH coming up after this timeout. Jack Diener, the head coach, LH 1-7 uh, overall, 1-5 in conference play, and it will be Frank Francis in the middle, number 58, 5'11", 225-pound junior, number 75, David Brom. He's 6'2", uh, two, 265, a senior, the right guard. And at the left side, Ryan Segman, number 55, 6'2", 270, a junior. Paul Shipley, a 250-pound junior, number 72, also see action there. Chris Saunders, number 71, the quick tackle at 6'5", 245. A senior, Mike Grimm, the strong tackle at 6'3", 285, a senior, number 79. Chris Morris, number 77, a 245-pound junior, and Ryan Mahoney, number 76, a 275-pound senior will back them up. Your starting tight end is Joey Price, number 80, 6'5", 210, he is a senior. Your split end, Jawan Davis, number 30, 6 foot, 160-pound senior, leads the WPI up with 55 catches for 909 yards and a 16.5 yard per catch average. He will be backed up on that left side by Santino Sloboda, 5'11", 145-pound sophomore, number 25. Your starting flanker tonight will be Garrett Brain, number 19. He's 5'11", he's 145, a sophomore. We're number 19 in place of the injured Justin Gitap. Boy, we hope we get him back next Thursday for the game with Yacht. He was hurt in the closing minutes up at uh, Greensburg, made a good catch and a great run to the eight-yard line to set up a touchdown, but then did leave the game, we understand, as a severely sprained ankle. Travis Matthews, number 28, and Nick Lyon, a pair of 165-pound seniors, will split duty at the uh, ace-back position. Matthews, 28. Lyon is number 22. Your starting H-back will be Nathan Force. He's number 10. He's 6'4", 180, a sophomore, backed up by Billy Dyson, Jr., and Chaz Pinkney, number 29, a sophomore. And your quarterback, Danny Bosnick, 6'8", 215. Danny is senior, and he has thrown for 1,400 yards this year, second in the WPIO. Your officials tonight, Harry Quinn is the referee, umpire Don Kaminsky, Joe Kulik, the linesman, Gary Schmidt, the line judge, field judge Ron Dixon, and the back judge, Joe Giorgiani. 
We'll be back uh, with the opening kickoff and the toss of the coin. All that coming up, that completes our pregame show. Actually, stay tuned. We're coming back with uh, Senior Band Night here, right here on the South Union Township Sports Network. On Route 40 across from the Uniontown Mall is very proud to be a sponsor of the... Francis. 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 Francis.
double, triple coverage. Actually, Force goes in motion to the right side, and he'll sprint out to the right side to Travis. He cuts up inside, and Travis he got two yards before he is stopped. Right there is Ken Perkins, number 54, leading the charge. Gain on the play of maybe two. Looking Stop at number 54, Ken Perkins, the number 81, Ricky Peg. Put it right at the 49, 39, rather, called third down and Gain 10. Gain yard on the play, it's a third down and 10. For LH. I'll tell you right now, we got a number 44 checking in. This may be grim, I'm not sure. Barry, we're going to have to check on that one. We have a new runner in there, number 44. It might be Gene Grimm. Gene Grimm. That's what I just said. I thought it might be Grimm. Back, Bosnick, back throwing, and he throws incomplete. And that brings up fourth down. Yeah, Bosnick's pass is set for number 19. Uh, yard is incomplete. So Gene Grimm, fourth his down. first appearance here for LH. And LH, after a fine return, the penalty really hurts them. So instead of uh, moving the ball down the field and picking up a first down, they're going to be forced to kick it away. And I'll tell you, way back deep. He's 15 yards deep. Nick Lyon, and they're going to come after him, it looks like. Let's see if they fake it. Low snap, and he got it out of there. Hangs it down the right sideline. Hits it to 20, and will go out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Lyon's out of bounds at the 19 yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for AG. I'll tell you, he was 15 Albert yards Jones deep there. And I do want to right now say that the Albert Gallon Athletic Department faculty and student body would like to extend best wishes and uh, good luck to Coach Robert, to Robert Visk and his Albert Gallatin football squad in tonight's game with LH. Good luck to the Albert Gallatin Colonials. First down and 10. AG with it. CJ Callahan under center. Offset eye. Maurice Jackson the deep back. And he'll hand it quickly and fake. Back to throw. A little screen out here, and he's got Plisco. Plisco 25, Plisco 30. Hurdles a man and gets to the 32-yard line. He is cut down. Borkovic on the hit. So a first down. It's up by the Mustang, number 22, Brian Borkovic. For AG. As they come out, fake it. Ball to the 34-yard line. Bruce Jackson line. dump it into the flat and a pickup on the play. Eight, 15 of 15, 15 first yards center. and first down. Albert Gallatin. Center. AG at the 950 mark. Out over the ball, they come with Perkins. They have been able to move the ball against everybody this year. And Callahan is out and set. On first down, they're going to slip it off inside. A big hole for Jackson. He cuts up field. He's got nine yards before he is stopped. Boris Jackson, the ball carrier for Albert Gallatin. Bosnick also there. Three. Dan Bosnick for Laurel Highland. Gain of about eight. Gain of eight yards Second on the play. Second down and two now. Second and two. Second down, two yards to go. Nine seventeen remaining. Ball spotted down at the 42-yard line. Good look from our field camera. CJ comes out and set. Second down and two. Going to give it up inside to Plisco. He hits a stone wall. Dice is right there to pound him back. And he's going to be Here very to close to the first down. The he was met right in the hole Stop by, by Dice. Dice for Laurel and it's going to be very, very close. They may look for a measurement here and I think they're going to be short and evidently they see it well enough from the side and know that it's going to be short. On the play. It's be third down and inches. Be third down and inches for well, I'll tell you, Colonial. Dice really met him right in the hole and stood him up. Now the officials may say, yeah, we're going to make sure. Time out for the measurement. I tell you, very, very, very close. So there's time out on the field and we're going to keep it right here as they'll bring the chains in from the far side. 8.29 remaining. I want to remind everyone that Arnie Amber will be aboard following tonight's ball game. Here's a stretch of the chain. And I'm going to tell you right now, First good down. thing they went for the measurement. I'll tell you, the official said that it was short, and then they thought about it, brought it in, and they got the first down. So that's two Albert Gallatin first downs. They've moved it out to the 44-yard line. Clock running at the 828 mark. Price and Force are your defensive ends. Russell inside backer along with Dice, and we'll set the rest of them on the next play. 
Handoff goes up inside to Jackson, and he is hammered down. Breaks the tackle. Oh, my goodness. Comes to the 40. Still on his feet and gets back to the line of scrimmage. Wow. What a play. Jerry Powell finally got to him. That was a six-yard loss. Jerry Powell. Turned into no gain, and what an effort. He was stacked up. Actually lost a yard. What an effort, though. Second down and 11. Should have been five yards further back, but LH did not wrap, and this young man looks to be a load. Maurice Jackson, number 24. Second down now. 11 yards to go at the 7.36 mark. Clock running. Kenny Perkins come out over the football. Clifford, C.J. Callahan. C.J. under center. LH coming with a blitz, and he's picked up nicely. Plisco with a great block. Pass outside, complete, and this will be a first down. Trying to get the number out there, number 88, number 88 on the Eric coach, Aaron Chapman. Nick Lyon made the hit, but I'll tell you right now, credit Jared Plisco with that play because Dice was coming on a blitz. Plisco picked him up beautifully and gave C.J. time to throw. He rifled it down the field and got the first down to Chapman. Out here wide to the right side comes Rich Pegg, number 81. Timmy Guthrie inside of him as a wide slot. So they've got twins to the right side. Pro set I. And Plisco, big hole left side, cracks through and gets yardage. Cut down by line now for a game of about nine. So at the 654 mark, it'll be second down and one at the 35 yard line. Running at the 644 mark and counting. Gene out of the line Ward. Gene Ward, please report to the press box. Gene Ward. See if we can set that line for you as LA. Second and one now for Albert Gallatin. Looks like they've got uh, number 77, Chris Morris, in there right now. Second down and short. Great passing down. LH coming. They're going to pitch to Jackson. He's got blockers. Plisco fires a block on the corner, and he's got Maurice the first Jackson down. Forced out of bounds. Forced out of bounds. Dan Bosnick got there. Out of bounds around the 28 yard line. It's a first and 10. So they picked up the first and 10. Needed one. Got about six. So Jackson now three carries for 13 yards. Morse. And purse glove, the inside people. Four man front for LH. And they fake. CJ back, throwing in and out of the hands of Plisco. And I'll tell you right now, he scores. He may well have scored because he was in behind the coverage up front. The only man near him was number 32, I think, Florkovich. And Florkovich would have had trouble getting past number 81, Rich Pegg, who was ready to throw a block. Had the pass been complete. So second down now and 10. Powell checks in. Travis Matthews comes to the sideline. Twins to the right side on second and 10. And there's the draw handoff up inside Jackson, and he's got short yardage. Banging it up ahead, and there is Powell. And there I believe is Morris and Persco. First glove as they untangle. Gain on the play of two. Third down on about eight. No score as we hit triple fives. 5.55 to go here in the opening quarter. Rapidly play. Third down and eight now for Albert Gallatin. Third down. Say, 26 yard line. At the 26 yard line. So when you got a back like Jackson and Plisco, this is not necessarily a pass, but back pass he will. Fires outside. He's got his man complete out here to number 81, Rich Pegg, to the 12 yard line. Florkovich Russell over there on the stop, along with I think Mark Cranach. But it'll be a first down pass completion. Number 81, Richard Pegg. And is it by number 20, Mark Cranach first down for so put it at the 12-yard line and call it first and 10. Clock running at 5:33. No score. First quarter. CJ out over the football. And he'll pitch it to Jackson. He's got blockers. He cuts to the 10. He cuts to the 5 and out of bounds. Forrest Jackson for Over the 5 Albert yard Gallatin. line. Forrest out of bounds by number 28, Travis Matthews, Matthews for Laurel Island. Gain of 5. Out of bounds around the 6 and a half yard line. So it'll be second down and 5. Second down and 5. Well, that one came right at Jody down there, Jerry. 
very, very close to getting into the action himself. So we should be able to give you a good look from that field camera right now. It's second down and about five yards to go at the 515 mark. Out over the ball they come. Under center is Callahan. He's going to hand up inside and good yardage by Plisco. He's handed down right there. Bosnick and Frana will stop. Third down now in about a yard and a half. There's a good look at it right there. Third down. And a, Third down and a, long run. a yard and a half to go. Put it down at the four. He's got to get near the three <coughs> for the first down. Clock running at 443. First quarter, no score. Aaron Trotman made a fine catch. Goes out wide to the left side. Callahan under center. Hand off Plisco, and he gets a stone wall, and he may have lost yardage. Morris was there, 77. Dykes was there also, and I believe Price lost on the play. So this will bring up fourth down. Better part of two now. Fourth and long two, the five-yard line. Coach Bob Visk is going to disdain the field goal and send Kenny Perkins out over the football in a running formation set. Power I and I think they might have moved Sean Gaster 75 in as a lead back in that power back. They pitch right side, looking for the corner, and down he goes. Jackson by Russell. Big loss on the play, all the way back near the 15 yard line. A huge loss from the five yard line back to the 14. Just about a nine yard loss, and what a play there. That's got to fire LH up. 3.50 to go. LH takes over after a great goal line stand. LH with it now. First down and 10. Boy, they were three and out the first time. Bosnick is out and set. Going to slip it off right side. And ahead for a couple. Comes the ball carry. That's either Matthews or Lyon. Let's see who we got. That's yeah, Spray Lyon. On the play. Getting a three on the play. Nick picks up three big yards. Okay, second down and seven. Second down and seven now. 325 to go. Well, I'll tell you, Dick Rue is a big one. He's right in there as the nose tackle. Wow. They shift along that line. Chris Majerko also out there, a big sophomore. Fumble and Juwan get back on it. Recovered by number 30, Jawan. Try to run the reverse. Davis. Davis dropped it. Fortunate to get back on it near the six-yard line. So at the three-minute mark, LH going in reverse here. Looking at Ball third down now, about six yard line. Into the lineup comes Force. Well, nine yards on the play. Checking out of there. Now a third down. Comes Chaz Pinkney. So it's third down and 17 at the 240 mark. Davis in the slot outside of him. Comes Brain. See if LH elects to go up top with it. Draw the big hole to the left side. Cutting up inside is Lyon, breaking a couple tackles, crosses the 15, the and gets six of it back. This again. One by number 65 for up to make the hit. That is Art Craig. Is number 65, Art Craig. And LH will be forced to kick it away for again. The 15 yard line. It's a gain of about eight on Four, seven, eight. Good smart call right there. LH will kick from their own goal line. Jackson is the deep man. They may be coming after him. They come with 10 and just got it away. And a good kick out here. Jackson makes the Nicolai catch at the 45-yard line. Good job by line. I'll tell you, they came with all 10. First down and 10 for LH. Excuse me, AG at the 45-yard line. First down and 10 at the two-minute mark. No score. LH has run six offensive plays and two punts. AG drove uh, deep into LH territory and had to give it up on downs after a fourth and two from the five. And a great play by Russell that stuffed it back at the 14. So here we go, out over the football. AG, wide to the left side. Aaron Troutman. Oh, hey, that got to be AG moving. Left guard. Jumped. No question about it. So they'll step this one off against Albert Gallatin, and this will be a five-yard mark-off. 
That'll back him up five yards to the midfield line. Howard Gallant's first, first down and 15. First down and 15, right back to midfield. Two minutes even. 2.02 to be exact in this first half scoreless. Senior band night here this evening. They honored all Laurel Highland Senior High band members. C.J. Callahan with a pro set and an eye. Handoff Jackson slips one. Boy, he's quick. Cuts up inside. Breaking tackles and finally and after a gain of about seven, Powell Jackson. makes the hit. Game six on, on the play. Powell. Powell on the stop. To the he is line again at the one on the play. Second, second down and nine. Line. There you see the uh, importance of a penalty. Six yard gain. You're looking at second down and four. But the five yard penalty, you're looking at second down and nine. So penalties will kill you. Wide to the left side will go Troutman. Coming out here to the short side is Timmy Guthrie. High formation with Plisco. The near back in the eye. The tail of the eye. And that's Jackson. And he hits up inside. Steps out of a tackle. And for down the near the first down. Stop by number 20. Got off his train out on the stop. So put it down a yard and a half shy. So this will be up third down, third down line. and about a yard as we hit the one-minute mark. No score. The third down, long one. Pretty nice crowd on hand here this evening. As into the lineup will come Aaron Troutman, brings the play in. This is a running play, and a stay in bounds could well be the final play of the quarter. CJ comes out, has him set. L.H. Stunton shifting a little bit on the line. And he'll slip it off to Jackson, and he did not get it as he is hammered back. Jackson. He'll be shy of the first down as they untangle Bosnick was there. Day, and there Order was Russell, there was Morris. I'll tell you, Morris having a big ball game. So now they face again another big fourth down. Okay, no, the and and fourth down. the clock runs down to the 14-second mark, so they may just stay in. They're going to let the clock run out. That's exactly what they're going to do. We've come to the end of the first quarter here. Mustang Field, the site of tonight's LHAG game. At the end of one, we're scoreless. We'll be back in 60 seconds. At first down and 10 at the 37-yard line. C.J. Callahan with the call. Pitch to the left side. Jackson, he's got blockers second quarter, so here's the mark off. They're going to move him back. Line of scrimmage is the 39. And as I said, a five-yard mark off. Second down. And 15 to go. Put it right down at the 44-yard line. The 44-yard line will be first and 15 for the Colonials. I think I saw the uh, Neverdale family here tonight. Bobby, of course, starting defensive tackle, left earlier this year with a dislocated kneecap. Hasn't been back. Oh, short side pitch. Jackson hurdles a man and is knocked off his feet. Jackson, the after ball carrier. About five. Up by number 10, Nathan Forge for Nathan Forge for the hit. But I'll tell you, Jackson. Nine yard line. The original line of scrimmage. Picks up second five. Down and ten. Second and ten now. Second down. Ten yards to go. Put it down at the 39 yard line. 6.20 to go. There's our field camera and a good look from down there. Wide to the right side will go Rich Page. Made a big catch on their last drive that led directly to the touchdown. C.J. Callahan is under center. Second down and 10. Fakes the draw, rolls, four steps up, pass out the flat, complete to Plisco. And he's going to be close pass to the first down. Line. Jared Plisco, where he is stopped by number 30, Jawan Davis. Davis, down to the second yard line. Makes the hit. It'll be third and one at the 46 mark. And one. At the 30. AG having their way with it right now. Third down and one yard to go. Kenny Perkins comes out over the football on third and one. C.J. Callahan comes out under center. Going to slip it off to Plisco, and he's going to get very close. Yeah, maybe short nine, here, Plisco. Plisco. Depends on the spot. I think he's going to be short. By number 28 for the Mustangs, Travis Matthews. Let's look at the call. No indication.
position yet. Off of number seven, fourth down. Stand the first glove. Fourth down, first glove on the stop. So another big play here for AG at the five minute mark. Fourth down. And long. Fourth and short, rather. And timeout called. We're going to come back after a 30 second break. Fourth and short. We are in the latter stages of the second quarter of action here from Laurel Highlands. Your score, it is the AG Colonials 8, the Laurel Highlands Mustangs nothing. We pause for 30 seconds. We are back and ready to uh, roll as we're looking at fourth down. And about what, a foot, foot and a half? Fourth down and a foot and AG coming out over it. The football and I think he fell forward. May have it. Let's see who got it. LH may have the football. They do. LH has the football. Let's see who gets up there with it. I think it's Powell, number 56. It might have got on it. Recovered by the Mustang, number 56, Jerry Powell. Wow, what a break there. Ball down at 26 yard First down line. Down at 10 LH at the 26 yard line. 4.50 to go. starting deep in their own territory. Draw to the right side and back. They're going to throw it out here in the flat. Complete the force. Force comes to the 30. Force to the 35. And he's got nine yards. Force picks up nine. Boston's first completion of the night. Nets nine yards. And LH looking at second down and one at the 431 mark. Force to the side. Second line up for LH will come Pinckney along with Brain. Davis will come out here wide to the left side. Boy, they've done a they have double covered him all night long. Hand off left side, Travis Matthews. And Travis he's Matthews. back, but he might have the first down. Depends Stop on the number 65, Art Craig for Art the Craig, Colonial. Big time hit. Really stuck in good. So LH picks up the first down, their first first down of the night at the 402 mark. First down and 10, 3.54 to go. Bosnick from the gun. Is going to hand it off up inside. Here comes Grimm, and there goes Grimm. He is cut down by McGregor. 3.35 to go. Grimm on the carry. Lost two. Lost him three yards on the play. 3.20 to go. Second down and 10. Second and 12, rather. Ball back inside the 35. Second down, better part of 12. Three minutes to go in the half. Get over there, get over there. Motion right. Oh, we got a time call. They had it to the right side. Do we got a penalty marker? What do we got? Timeout LH. Boy, they had it set up. It looked like that might have popped for some yardage. They had it in the flat here to Juwan Davis, and timeout was called. Timeout on the field, 2.58 to go. LH trails at 8 to nothing. What do you got, about a quarter after? So LH, man, I, I, that timeout, Jawan Davis had the ball in the flat and was ready to take off, and they got a timeout. Oh. That might have denied him a big play. Now, double coverage on here. They're going to double up on Bosnick. Leave the little slot man wide open here in the right side. Now, they'll shift immediately back to throw. Bosnick looking, firing, and had a man open. He threw in behind him. Try to get it out here to the brain. Third down. Pass ball's incomplete. Brings up third down. And 13 yards to go at the 250 mark. LH. Looking at third and long. Doubles to the right side.
side, and they'll draw three receivers, three defenders over there. Davis goes right, they fired in the flat to Davis. He comes to the 40, and it's cut down as he gets to the 41 yard line. West on the stop. Of about seven. Kick it away. There's a snap, a low one line. Got it out of there. Floater upfield. Takes a sideways skip and then will move ahead to about the 30 yard line and be touched down there by Price. Well, at the 30 yard line by number 80, Joe Price. At the 30 yard line, it would be first down and 10 for the Albert Gallup. Albert Gallup. Well, it begins first and 10. LH trails it 8 to nothing with 2.14 to go. Put it right down at the 30. And call it first down and 10 for the Albert Gallatin Colonials. Jackson, the deep back in the eye. Jared Plisco up in front of him. And they're going to pitch it to Jackson. Turns the corner and down he goes. Nice open field stop there by Dice, I believe. Stop by the Mustang, number 24, Billy Dice. Down to the two minute mark. Gain of three. Gain of three by Second Jackson. And, seven. and AG has, I believe, two timeouts left. Clock running to the 150 mark. LH needs a good defensive stand here. At the 145 mark now. The clock's running. LH trails eight to nothing. And they're going to hand it off up inside to Plisco. And he has got the first down. Bosnick on the stop. And also there was Dice. Stopped initially by number 46. They'll mark it for the Mustang. Two yard line, first down and 10. The clock will start. Yard line is the first and they reset the chain. So at the 134 mark, Powell checks out for LH. And the clock running to the 126 mark. CJ Callahan under center. Going to roll left. Going to fire deep. This one's headed toward the sideline out of play. Bosnick and Lyon on the cover. Trying to get complete. Troutman down the sideline. Pass falls in at the 114 mark. Second and 10. Albert Gallatin doesn't have the luxury here of being able to grind it out here four, five, six yards at a time because you've only got a minute 14 to go and two timeouts, so they are going to have to pick up some yardage in chunks. They've got 59 yards to pick up, and there's no way if they go five yards a pop, they're going to get 10 plays out of this. Callahan under center. Clock will start on the snap. Going to hand it off to Jackson, and he is going to be knocked down initially by Travis Matthews. For the 45-yard line, stopped by number 30, Juwan Davis. 105, Mark. Davis on the hit. Timeout charged. A L H. We have a timeout for Ohio. Timeout on the field. L H. Boy, that one surprises me. Second down now. Be third down rather, and seven. We're going to take a 30-second timeout at the 105 mark. We'll be back in 30 seconds. L H trails at eight. Uh, Which calls the timeout. Third down and six. And now. For the now AG doesn't get the first down. LH could well call the timeout again. They're going to slip it off up inside. And they're going to get the first down. Here's Jackson, a little stutter Corey step. Jackson. And he moves it ahead. Nine seconds to go. They're going to spike the ball here. And a pickup on the play of 10. And another first down for LH. Watch him spike it. I saw the indication from the sideline. And he does just that. Ball is spiked by number C. J. Callahan. C. J. Callahan at the 46-yard line, or 44, to be second down and 10. To the sideline comes Guthrie, and he'll check in from the sideline. Eight nothing game with 53.6 seconds to go. L. H. Trailing it by the 
count of eight to nothing, and AG trying to drive a late touchdown down their throat. Hands off to Jackson. He's got running room right side. Cuts. He's on his way. He's to the 25 yard line. 27 yard line, where he is stopped there by number 30 for Laurel Highland. Seven seconds Davis. to go. They get to the 26. It's another first and 10. Albert Gallatin. 20. And they're going to spike it again once they get it set. Clock running under center. And down it goes. And once again, another Years ago, that used to be intentional ground. But now it's an ten. accepted play. Into the lineup comes Trap. Boy, LH just looks dead flat. They have no emotion out there right now. As Powell checks out, Travis Matthews checks in, which indicates to me they're going to go with sort of a cover defense right here with 43 seconds to go. AG may have one timeout left. And out over the football comes Kenny Perkins. Big number 69, Dick Blue, sets up on the right side. And they're going to roll back, left side, fire upfield, and incomplete. Good coverage. Perfect coverage by line. Third down and 10 with 38 seconds to go. LH trailing by the count of 8 to nothing. We are in the final minute of play here. Third down. Ten yards to go. Out over the ball comes Perkins. Good to see Jason Hutchison here tonight. Former Mustang now teaching and coaching in the Uniontown School District. Fake draw, force coming, a little throwback screen, and it's incomplete. That'll bring up fourth down. Well, that's right pretty well. With 35 seconds remaining, they got one more shot. Fourth Wouldn't down. be surprised right here if they try and throw it for the end zone. Fourth down, 10 yards to go. I can hear the AG coaches down here to my right saying, we have a timeout, meaning AG. So Troutman splits out wide to the left side. Out wide to the right side goes Richard Peck. Under center comes C.J. Callahan. And handoff goes to Jackson, and oh, he breaks one. Breaks two, but he won't break the third tackle. Jackson, what a play. Line, number 29, 22 line. Line by number 22, Nick Lyon. Gain one on the play, so Gain three on the play. The Mustangs take over on down. Let's just run the clock out, go into the locker room, and regroup. Now, I tell you, LH is very, very, very lifeless heading back out to the offensive set. Here comes Brain. Jackson having himself a uh, pretty productive uh, first half. A lot of carries. With 27 seconds to go, Bosnick, I think, is wise just to go to the knee. And that's how smart I am. He's hit, and that's going to be a grounding call. He fired an ineligible receiver to Chris Saunders. And Saunders made the cut by number 71, Chris Saunders. I tell you, Gaster played Bosnick back. 19 seconds to go. I tell you what, they just gave him some emotion right there on that play alone. Chris Saunders made the catch, and he's an ineligible receiver. So this one will mark it back. Uh, you got to go to your knee now. Let's just get into the locker room. Ineligible. With the seconds to go. We'll move it back. Saunders made the catch. Didn't know what to do with it when he had it in his hands. And I'll give Chris all the credit. He showed good hands on that play. Sister down here in front of me laughing. First down and 10. Now the officials talking this one over forever. Let's see the call. Now, it, will it go? It's got to go from the line of scrimmage. Let's see where they're going to mark it off from. The officials don't see this this often. Ineligible against LH. Here's the mark off. And it's only five. Oh, back the ball five yards. To the 19. Yeah, call it first and 15. Richie, back up. Just go to the knee, guys, and let's get out of this thing. 
officials and we have a time out. They want to get this right, I'm sure. And now LA makes it second down on a loss of down. Clock starting to run. And a reverse coming to Davis. Turns up inside, breaks one, breaks two. He's coming out of there close. Ron Davis. And Ron Ron Davis. down to the six Top second line mark. Number 27, and Archie West for the play of about 10 yards for Davis. 29-yard line, a gain of 10 yards on the play. And timeout call by LH. So we'll keep it right here. Remind you at halftime. We have uh, unofficial stats. We'll also have the scoring plays and the bands. 8 nothing. your score. LH trails it. We'll keep it here. Jerry, if you want to shut down, go ahead. 5.9 seconds to go. Mosler is out. We'll send Davis in motion to the left side. And they'll throw it out here to Davis. Davis turning the corner up the sideline. And gets a good yard.
and I think uh, uh, we're going uh, to first number 21, Keith Fry on the stop. So it'll be first down and 10 now at the 28-yard line. Callahan out over the ball. CJ with the pro set. Sends Troutman in motion. Going to pitch the reverse motion side, and here comes Jackson. And he's got some yardage. Maurice Jackson, the ball carrier. Before he is struck down as he crosses the 30 to about the 32 yard line. Fourth out of bounds by number 80, Joey Price. Joey Price on the stop. Gain of five. Second down and five. The first half had him unofficially. 16 carries for 80 yards. Second and five now for Albert Gallatin. Second down now, and a gain of five. So call it second and five. And they're going to go to him again. And this time, Nathan Force is waiting right there with Russell and Price to knock him down for no gain. Third down. Boris Jackson, the ball carrier. Jackson with good yardage. Stop by number 10. On the first Nathan play, first. He loses a yard. And you're looking now at third down and the better part of six. Third five. I formation, eight nothing ball game with a minute in two. The third, rolling to the left side, Callahan looking, firing up field, throws a wounded duck up and it's incomplete. As I tell you, if the covers had covered, they had an interception. The pass is incomplete. We'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down. And LH will get the ball back. So that drive is three and out. And we'll see Rockwell for the first time here tonight to punt. Back for Laurel Highland, number 32 for the Mustangs, Brian Forkovich. And number 30, Jawan Davis. Two speedsters back there. Number 15, Dan Rockwell. Snap. Oh, this one should be returned. Davis. It's 35. Looks for, gets a nice block. And now reverses field, coming back. If he can get a block, he has a pull. Davis to the 50, still on his feet, and cut down at the 50-yard line. The ball line. To the we got a flag. Yard line. We have a penalty flag on the play. Back at the 38. So instead of the 50, we're probably going to start back around the 23. Let's see the call. Jawan gave ground. Clip. Penalty LA. against Laurel Highlands for clipping. And when he goes bad, he goes bad. So a 15-yard mark off. And LH will be back at the 23-yard line instead of out at midfield. So 27-yard net loss in field position. See the tackles out there right now, 71 for LH Saunders, 79 Grimm. Now back the ball now to the 22-yard line. Frank Francis. For the Mustangs to get first and 10. Put it at the 23, as we said, first down and 10. I want to remind you that we've got CUTV and their high school game of the week coming up right after this one. A little out to Nathan Force. Dan Barney pass two. complete to number 10, Nathan Force and to the 25-yard line. Hit down by number 13, and we don't show it. Three on the play. So it's pass. up there by number 13, Chris Bunsick. Okay, that's Chris Bunsick, number 13. Second and seven. Second down, seven. And our CU TV game of the week coming up. And we'll feature, and this could be a very, very good one, Thomas Jefferson and Bell Vernon. That looks like a beauty. Thanks, Jerry. Sprint out left side, Bosnick looking for the corner, has a block, turns up field, and he's got himself a first down. Dan Bosnick on the quarterback keeper. Bosnick the picks up 10. Yard line. And LH has the first down. Stopped by number 81, Richard Pegg for... Pegg makes the hit in the second there. Gain on the play, good the for 10. 10. Mustang. down at the 35-yard line. Out over the ball, as Brain goes wide right. 8 nothing lead in favor of the Colonials. Bosnick is set. And back goes Bosnick.
doesn't it? Setting, fires a little comeback, and it's broken down. Number 90, right there by Justin Grimes. Slap it down. Well, they've got some size up there. Grimes at 6'4", 250. Perkins at 6'3", 270. Gaster at 6'3", 300. Second down. Second down. Ten. Wide to the right side. And back goes Bossing. Has a man open right out here. Fires. Has it complete to Brain. And he is ahead of the 40-yard line. Gain of five. Third down. Five. Brain was open for a long time before Bosnick got to him. So LH. 39-yard line. 39. Looking at third down and five. Nine and nine to go. Arnie Amber and Oldies Unlimited coming up next right here on Q99. <clears throat> Last we had on Connellsville Hemfield, 21-21 at the half. Davis in motion. They're going to hand it off, and we got flags everywhere. Jawan down the sideline. He's got the first down. Jawan Davis steps out of bounds around the 44-yard line, but we have penalty flags on the play. Looks like they're going to call two flags. Two penalty flags on the play. And hopefully just a motion call. But from one where one where one is thrown could be clipping. Now there's the motion. And that's Coming against LH. Laurel Islands. So that nullifies the first down and moves LH back and makes it third and ten. Would have been first and ten up near midfield. Five yards, third and ten to the back line to the thirty-five yard line. Eight forty-four to go. Mark it off, and LH looking at third down and actually 11 to go. 8.44 remaining. And into the lineup comes, oh, no, that's Boston just checking from the sideline. Third and 11 now comes for the Left side of the line is Grimm and Segman. Right side is Braun and big number 76, Ryan Mahoney. Bosnick. Quick one over the middle. He's got Price. 50, 40, reverses, comes to the 30. And still on his feet to the 25-yard line. 10, 20, 30, 41 yards. So Price, with the big catch, has 40. And a first down for LH. Put it down at the 24-yard line. 42-yard pass on the play for the first down for the Mustangs. LH now, maybe, going to put something on the board here. Out over the ball, they come at the 828 mark. From the gun, here's Bosnick. Spread receivers left and right. He's straight back, look out. Going to fire, upfield to Davis. He's got it to the five-yard line. What a catch in traffic. What a throw by Bosnick. As they take it from the 25 to the 5 yard line. And a first and goal. It'll be first and goal for the Mustangs. The ball resting on the upper Gallatin. So four for four. 5 yard line. For Bosnick. And this drive started at the 25 yard line. So LH first and goal. And the clock running at the 8.06 mark. Nice catch. Nice throw in traffic. First down. Hand off. Travis Matthews lowers the shoulder and he's into the end zone. Travis Matthews into the touchdown. Matthews for the touchdown. We have a penalty flag on the play. Oh boy. Let's see what we got. We got a marker in the end zone. And let's see the officials confer. Picking up the flag now. Let's see what we got. Dead ball. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Touchdown. Touchdown. Let's see who they marked. Was it off? Awesome? Two point it might be a post-touchdown uh, celebration call. If that is, boy, that's 15 yards on the kickoff. So LH will go for the two. So Matthews at the 754 mark of the third quarter. Five-yard run. 
and it was a 75 yard drive. Key play was the 40 yard strike two. They're gonna go for the, you gotta be faking here. They're gonna go for the one. Bosnick rolls to the right side. Gonna fire upfield. He has his man, but it's incomplete. And the extra point attempt is no good. So it's 754. Let's so go to the third quarter. Two is no good. Eight, 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 six. Six. LH trails by two. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Okay, how long the break you got here? A minute? Okay, 28-24, thank you. Well, we'll tee it up at the 40. So that penalty was not against Laurel Highlands for celebration because they do assess that on the kickoff. So, Kale, who all of a sudden here, I tell you, he's found a pretty strong foot. Last time he blasted it to the 10, and he's a straight-ahead kicker. The run-up after the whistle, and he's got another good one. This one will be fielded by West. 25, 30, and hit down there by Fry. Archie West takes the ball at the 16 yard line, moving up to the 34. The Colonials. So first down and 10. Race off the distance by number 21, Keith Fry for the Mustangs. Let's see if we can set that defense. We'll be the defensive ends. And if you get your 50-50 tickets up, we'll give you that winning number. Inside as the down lineman, Russell and Dice, the backers. 8-6. LH trails it here. <clears throat> Midway point of the third quarter. CJ under center. Pitching. Uh-oh, look out. Jackson has some running room. Goes to the corner. Down he goes. Oh, what a play by Dice. Woo! He got him. That That looked like a great yardage. He gained it only a yard. Second down and nine. 1-7-4.
picks it up at the 35 yard line and LH has it. First down and 10. Five minutes, 34 seconds on the road, 35 yard line. LH with a chance now with the score to take the lead. Brain is checked into the lineup. He'll come to the right side. Force will be the slot to the right. Bosnick will come under center. And LH. Under center. Straight back. Bosnick well, has a man open up, setting down. Fires upfield. He has force. He's in the 40. It's a foot race now. 30. Plisco will track him down at the 15-yard line. Number 10, Nathan Force. Nathan Force, the sophomore. Takes it from the 35, 10, 20, 30, 40, about 48 yards. A 48 yard pass from Bosnick to Ford. His third catch, and Bosnick is 5 for 5. Yard line, first and 10. In this half, Mustang. LH now driving at the 17 yard line, first down and 10. From the gun, look for a run maybe right here. A little draw up the middle. Let's see. Now, no, it won't. They motion it to the right side with line, and there's Bosnick, quarterback draw, keeping it straight up to the side. Gets about four before he was stopped. 65, Art, Craig. Art Craig on the stop. Bosnick on the carry. Picks up four yards at the 455 mark. LH trails at 8-6. There's a nice view of the Game defensive four, set for AG. Second, second down, six yards to go. LH trailing it, but again, on a nice drive, following the fumble recovery by First Glove. Bosnick is out and set, lying the one back. Comes a reverse to Jawan, looking for the corner, and he is Jawan Davis, down, down, for down, down by number nine, Jared Blisco for Boss the Columbia. Four. Brings up third down now and nine at the 412 mark. Falls back to the 16-yard line. Brain yeah, checks eight. in. Force checks in. And LH looking now at third down. About eight yards to go. Francis leads him out from the gun. Bosnick straight back, has some time. Fire not field. Got his man incomplete. Good job of blocking that time by Keith Slaughter. Number 19, Gary Brain for the Mustangs. A rush from the outside. Fourth now it's looking at fourth down. I think they're out of field goal range here. This would be a about a 34-yarder. So LH now looking at fourth down. His brain was open. I think the pass came in low. Would not have had the first down, but would have been about three yards shy. So fourth and nine. LH needs nine on this play. They got a slot to the left side, and that's Juwan. Back to throw. Stepping up. Bosnick has some running room. Cuts to the outside, and he's not going to get there. And Bosnick with a quarterback Close. keeper. Let's see the spot. I don't think. Let's see. It all depends on the forward progress. What do you think, Jerry? He did not get it. Number nine, Jared Blitzko on the tackle. He comes up a yard shy. A yard shy of the first down. Upper Gallatin takes over on that. LH threatens, has nothing to show for it. Upper Gallatin begins first and ten. AG begins on their first ten yard line. And at their own ten yard line. Oh, LH got close. Under center comes C.J. Callahan. Big hole for Plisco right up the middle. And he's got Plisco, the ball carrier for the Orioles. Plisco picks up nine as we go to the 325 mark. 8-6, LH trails by a deuce. Gate of nine on the play. Second and one. Second down. One yard to go. Out of the lineup comes big number 77 for LH. Chris Morris has had a nice game here tonight. Powell is in there. I think First Club is in there as the two down linemen. Plisco, it's a wall, but Jared second Plisco effort. Jared Plisco was against the Colonials straight ahead for the first down. Stopped by number 29 for the Mustangs, Charles Pinckney. First down and 10 as Pinckney makes the stop. LH trailing it by the count of 8 to 6. First and 10, Colonials. C.J. 
Callahan, Jared Plisco, Maurice Jackson has been the workhorses here tonight in good efforts by Peg and Troutman as the receivers. Under center, here comes CJ. Handoff goes and Dice is waiting right in the hole. And I tell you what, Jackson almost broke out of that as it is. He lost about 10 yards. Maurice Jackson stopped for a lot. By the Mustangs, number 84, right? Dice made the initial hit and then Price was there to Billy finish Dice. it off. Down to 211 and counting. Loss on the play. Oh, they give him forward progress. Looked like he was trying to break the Ball tackle. On the 20 yard line. And had done that, break contained. But they second were uh, generous in the spot, make it second and 12. Number seven, C.J. Callahan has gone all the way to QB today. Going to give it up. Big hole for Jackson. Out to the outside. A great tackle by number 22, Lyon. Wow, he knifed through and got him. Just a little bit of a Jackson Lyon might have big yardage. Gain of only three. So it'll be third down now and about eight. Gain of about three. It's a third and nine. 125 to go. Late third quarter. There's a nice look at the line. Big number 69. You get some idea of the size there of Dick Rue. Big number 88, Aaron Troutman. I'll tell you, they've got some horses in there. And looking at third down and nine. LH trails at 8-6. At the one-minute mark. And they're going to fake. There's pressure coming from Price. He gets to him, and it's incomplete. Price got there at and the pass. Up field fourth down. brings up fourth down. Incomplete. So LH will get it. Out near midfield, they'll send Davis. They'll send Florkovich. Going back for the Florkovich comes to the near side. Davis, number 32, Brian Florkovich. Davis Money goes to the far side. Is number 15, Dan Rockwell. At the 53 second mark, Rockwell will kick it out of there. Line of scrimmage out near the 25. There's the snap. Oh, nice kick. Oh, Florkovich, fair catch. Brian Florkovich calls for a fair catch line. at the 45-yard line. The Mustangs again first. Mitchell will have it first down and 10. 45-yard line. First down and 10. 47 seconds to go. LH in excellent field position. I'd like to see him be able to run the ball, but boy, we have not. Surprisingly, you, you since no. maybe about the uh, Connellsville game, been able to run much in that first half at Connellsville. We did a great job. See if they go with the draw. No, there's Bosnick sending his man in motion from the gun. Quarterback draw straight up the gut. Here he comes for nine yards. Dan Bosnick into Colonial Territory where he's stopped by number 54. Up to make Perkins. the stop is Perkins, 54. Eight of nine on, nine the, play. on the play. Second and one. Second down and one. Down inside of 30 seconds to go. LH will have to get the play off. They whistled it ready at the 27 second mark. Got 25 second play clock in high school football. So out of, over they come. Second down now and about a yard. Bosnick under center. Sprint out and a handoff. First down yardage coming for Travis Matthews and he gets ahead. Travis Matthews on down. Seven seconds to go. Do want to remind you again, Jerry just First and ten, Mustang. provided me with the uh, CUTV schedule, and we have got Thomas Jefferson and Bell Vernon coming up. And then over the next three weeks, WPIL playoff games right here on Channel 62. We'll not be covering them on the South Union Township Sports Network, but J.R. Wheeler and his fine staff down at Cal will be. Again, the draw, and this time A.G. waiting in the hole. Dan Bosley. Bosley, the hit for maybe the line of scrimmage, and that'll do it. We've come in on the third quarter. We'll line be back in 60 seconds. The we'll find the score three. after three. It's A.G. 8, L.H. 6. The Cherry Tree Cafe, located away. Well, I'll tell you, we've got some animated uh, AG coaches over here to our right. They wanted a timeout called, saw something they did not like with the way LH was set. 
and they were screaming into the mic, stop the play, stop the play. But uh, fortunately for AG, they didn't because it results in uh, the incomplete pass in Bosnick's first of this half.
still loose and trying to get on there was Fry, but Albert Gallatin got to it. It'll be defeated by number three, James Ashton for Ashton the got on. Eagles. So Ball first the down and ten. Yard line, it'll be first and ten. Albert Gallatin. AG put it down at the 30-yard line. Laurel Highlands leads in this game for the first time at 14-8. 11.21 to go. Second half, they played much better. Offensively and defensively, it's been a solid performance all around. Callahan, pitch, trying to string it out. And here comes Maurice. He's got the corner. He's got 10. He's got 15. He's got 20 yards, and he's out of bounds. Maurice Jackson, forced out of bounds at the midfield line. Right to the 49, and he gained 19 on the play. And first down and 10. AG, just as I say, they've done such a nice job containing and denying him anything really big. He busts one yeah, for 19. Yeah, on the play. First and 10, Albert Gallatin. At the 19-yard line, first down, or 49-yard line after a 19-yard game. C.J. Callahan has a mountain set. And off goes to Plisco, and he's Here up inside the ball three. Barrier. Dice makes Stop the by number 24, Billy Dice. Tech Dice is not that big. It's 6'1", 170, but man, he can pack a wallop. Buddy Dice, number 53, I think might be a cousin, was a fine linebacker for LH uh, back in the 90 and 91 season. Outstanding player, outstanding catcher for LH, and went on to a fine career down at uh, Duquesne. Second down and eight now at the 10.30 mark. Pitch it again. Maurice turns a corner, and they're getting the corners, and we got a flag. Maurice Jackson for the Colonials. Jackson. We have a penalty flag. Carry. Would have had the first down. And the flag at the 50. Penalty against Albert Gallatin. Albert Gallatin. For holding. For holding. So instead of first and 10, out near across the 40 to the 37, this one will go back to the 40-yard line, and you'll be looking at about second and 20. Wow, big penalty here. The LH has got to get those corners coming up faster. That's two plays in a row that Jackson's been able to get outside. They've hooked the end. They'll take the ball back now to the 40-yard line. As you can see, when he hooks the end, you can see it open up. That corner has got to come up. Davis is into the secondary for LH. 14. Fourteen eight, your score in favor of Laurel Highlands at the ten nineteen mark, late or early rather, fourth quarter. Back to throw, Callahan floats it out here to Plisco, and he's driven down. Callahan's pass is very to short. Nine, There's Garrett Dice Plisco, again, where he's stopped by number twenty four, Bill Dice. Russell also there. Boy, those are two big inside linebackers. Gain of about four yards on the play. Third down now, and about 16 at the 9.49 mark. LH leads it by 16. six, 14 to eight. Wide to the left side now goes Richard Pegg. Out over the football comes Kenny Perkins. <clears throat> Tight end to the right side. Justin Grimes, and back to throw, pressure up the middle, he fires upfield, incomplete. Good pressure coming from Powell, and Richard is and incomplete. forces the play, fourth down. and it'll be fourth down, LH will get the ball back after the punt, and they'll put it down at the 42-yard line, Davis goes deep. Going back for the Mustangs, number 32, Brian Florkovich. And Florkovich. And number 30, Juwan Davis. And punting for Robert Gallatin, number 15, Daniel Rockwell. Danny Rockwell to punt it. There's the snap. He gets it out, end over end. This one, if it takes a good bounce, should be fielded. Picked up there on the bounce by Florkovich. Coming to the right side, slips one, slips two, and gets out of bounds. Florkovich takes the ball at the 24 yard, yard line. Nine yard return. Actually, 11 yard return. Around the 36 yard line. Return by Florkovich. It was by so important after it hit the Dickman. ground that he got it on the bounce because if that gets past him, 
It's inside the 15. As it is, he's able to return it to the 35. Send greetings out to Gorkovich's uh, parents watching the game here tonight, and also his uncle, Jerry Waltz. There's a flag. What do we got now? And the AG kids are clapping. Boy, that's a... What's, let's see what this call is. Dead ball, illegal substitution against LH. Penalty against Alberto Highland for illegal substitution. And that's going to be a mark on a five. First now back 15, about five yards. And ten mark. Now be a first and fifteen. First down, fifteen yards to go. So I don't know exactly what happened. I want clarification on that one. Wide now to the left side comes Brain. He'll draw coverage over here from Richard Pegg. Bosnick going to roll to the left side. Gets a great block on the corner. Turns up field. Gets five and gets ten yards. Yeah, Bosnick, ball carried to the 44, 41 yard line. Big pick up there by Bosnick. I didn't see the number. Of, by number 81. The man who threw the block on the corner. Perkins. But boy, it enabled Bosnick to turn it. And a gain of about ten at the 848 mark. So they get the five back plus Second five. five now for Bosnick having himself a fine, fine half here. Both running and throwing. 839 to go. LH leading at 14 to 8. Offset eye. Left side little counter coming the lines. Does a little bit of stuff.
put it down at the six and the is it six yard line, first, first and goal. goal LH first and goal Lion with two good carries out of the ball comes Francis boy this is a rejuvenated Mustang team here in the second half they could move the ball not at all in the first half moving it well Bosnick going to option the left side turns up at the 10 turns up at the 5 and leans into about the 2 yard line stretch that big 6 foot 8 frame to the 1 Art Craig, for the Art Craig on the stop they'll put it down at the 1 yard line to the 1 yard line second and goal second for and the goal, 555 to go Goal to go, second down. Second to go for Laura Island for the one. At the one. We'll watch it right here on the monitor. Bosnick, see if he keeps it straight ahead on the sneak. He does, goes right side, powers his way in. Yeah, touchdown. Touchdown. Bosnick at the 533 mark of the fourth, a 65 yard drive, and a one yard sneak. By Bosnick. And LH now leads it by 12. Let's see if they go for two. I would because it's 12 right now. Two makes it 14. Still a lot of time for AG to get back in this thing. So I think you want the two point conversion. Bosnick is out and set. Under center. Straight back. Fires it in two. The end zone incomplete. As they go back up the field with 533 LH says score now to 12 point lead. It's LH 20, AG 8. We'll be back. On the TV side, a nice look right now at the LH cheerleaders. And part of this uh, pretty good crowd here tonight. Good look at the AG LH cheerleaders. And now from our midfield press box camera, another look at them. So good job again, as always, by Jerry Dupay. Kicking off the ball. field camera, man. Jody McCoy. So Kale will tee it up. Number 27, Archie West. Number 24, Maurice Jackson. Now, balls on the shoulders of the LH defense. 5.33 to go. Time for AG, no question about it. Big play capability. What you want to see right now, maybe a short uh, squib kick. And that's what it is. It's down, bounding, and it skips in behind and will be taken at the 32-yard line. Ball is taken by number three. Okay, hey, good the job. As Ashton got on it. And the place it any better. On the room, 32 yard line. 32 yard line, 530 to go. I think they're gonna have to come out throwing. Although with Jackson back there, he is a threat. First down and 10, LH leading at 20 to 8. Jackson with a touchdown and the safety in the first half for AG. They let it there at 8 to nothing. But then LH has come back on a Bosnick touchdown, a Matthews touchdown, and a Davis touchdown, and a two point conversion to Davis. Back to throw and pressure coming, and boy, they almost got him. Price was coming, and Morris was coming. Incomplete. Second down. Nice to see Chuck Cobert. Daughter Jennifer leaving the ball game or headed up towards the hill. I don't think they're leaving. Jennifer played last year on the JV team and will be a member of the Phillies this year. Second down and 10. AG at the 525 mark. Boy, good pressure that last play from Price. And they're going to pitch it to Jackson. Good play by Price to string it out. And Jackson reverses, now cuts up in and down Maurice goes. Jackson, the ball carrier. Maurice Jackson stopped. I'll tell you, credit Price with that one. He stretched out the interference. Stopped by number eight. Forced eight. it Joe back Price inside. And Chris Morris. Chris Morris was waiting, and then Price got back into it himself. No gain on the play. So five minutes Third even down. to go. 20 to 8. LH on top as we hit the 450 mark. Tay comes wide right. Davis in the coverage there along with Brian Russell comes out and Bosnick's just going to roam deep as the free safety. Third down and 11. Pressure coming from Force. Fires upfield. Incomplete. Good 
job by the I tell you, you're getting pressure both from Force and from Price. That brings up fourth down. And be interesting to see here if they go for it. I don't think there's much doubt. If I'm Coach Bob Visk, um, looking for my first win of the season, 4.35 to go, I may not get the ball back. I think you got to go for it. And credit uh, the young coach from AG, he's going for it. Fourth down. Watch for a draw, maybe. No sprint out, right? Will throw back screen and almost intercepted by Nathan Force. If he picks it off, it's a touchdown. Now all LH has to do is run some step. clock here. I'll tell you, you got some excited players. Chris Saunders sprinting out there, waving his hands in the air. Jawan Davis sprinting out there. Travis Matthews, they're all pumped. So LH with it at the 31 yard line. They can run some clock. He's keeping on the ground. Stay between the markers. Stay between the out of bounds lines and keep that clock running. Hand off, left side, running into his own man. Matthews reverses. He's at the 15 yard line and dragged down by the shoulder pad. Brought down by number 27, Archie West. 18, Archie West with the stop. Ball down to the 18-yard line. First and 10. At the 18, first down and 10. Rain checks to the sideline, gets the call, comes right back in at the 419 mark. So LH is in the driver's seat right now, leading at 20 to 8. But the way things have gone this season, well, you don't take anything for granted. Oh, good fake, Bosnick. Cuts back to the right side. Looking for some yardage. Reverses again and moves it ahead for a gain of about seven. Yeah, Bob, well, hey, come on, to run. For the quarterback keeper, stop by number 17, Robert Fry for the Columbia. Fry up to make the stop. Bosnick takes it down inside the 15. Okay, seven on the play. Seven on the play. It'll be second down and three. Into the lineup. Second and three. Comes Santino Sloboda. And he'll come out here to the left side at the 327 mark. Right side, Matthews, a little bit of a hole, turns the corner and stays in bounds. Gets to the nine yard line. High on the stop. Boy, it's going to be close. Third down. And less than a yard. Third down inches for the Mustang. I'd like to think if you get the first down here, just might put this thing away. You're up 12, and at the 250 mark, if you pick up a first down, you're going to eat a lot of clock up. Let's see if Bosnick just keeps it straight ahead. Looks like he's got a little bit of a hold to his left, and that's where he's going, and he's got the first Quarter down easily. Straight ahead for Laurel Highlands, number three, Danny Bosnick for the first down. 237 to go. First down now, and Stop by number 54, Ken Perkins. goal to go at the five. So First the clock will turn. Mustangs from the five yard line. Two thirty four to go. See the Price family right in front of us. Uh, Keith Saunders' mom and grandpa and sister right here. Bounce to the right side, nowhere to go. Charles Pinkney, the ball carrier for Laurel Island. Second and five. Goal to go at the 203 mark. Slobota checks. Lost the yard on the play. 158. Second down and goal now from the six. Offensive line tonight. Francis, Brom, Segman, Saunders, Grimm, Morris, Mahoney. They've all done a good job. And, the, and of course... There's a handoff up inside. Travis hitting to the two-yard line at the 140 mark. Charles Matthews. And let's see, we get a timeout. Charles, we do. To the Colonials. And we'll keep it here. Stop by number 17, Robert Fry. Three-yard line with a minute 37 to go, and the crowd comes alive. Principal Mike right Carter here tonight. Saw Dr. Schumer. Third down and goal. Let's we'll see if Bosnick is going to hand it off up 
inside and number 44. Up inside, nothing going there. Stop by number nine, Jared Quisco for Let's stop Mike Allison. Stop. So fourth down, you got to keep, on the, play, fourth down. keep the ball on the ground and go. You don't attempt a field goal here because it could be blocked and run back the distance. So it's at the three yard line, fourth down. Sloboda is in and out to the left, out to the right goes Brain. Down to a minute six. So it'll be under a minute to go when you snap this. See if Bosnick rolls left. He's got the wide side that way. We're going to hand it off up inside. Grim just pounds on him. And we're up getting it. Grim for the Mustang. So with 53 seconds to go, LH will give the ball over on downs to AG at the two yard line. First down and two. Stopped by Albert Gallatin. The Columbia will take over on downs. LH has ten. to be in a prevent right now. Got to be in the prevent. There's Florkovic, there's Fry, there's Bosnick, there's Matthews. And Mike Palmer out there also. Got to be playing deep now. The clock at the 53 second mark. And they're going to hand it off up inside to Jackson. He breaks one, breaks two.